I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. Don't put the blame on me. Oh, don't put the blame on me. Blessed Sigma, the world drowns in corruption. Your empire is aflame with heresy. The faithful perish, and the wicked multiply. <laughs> Blessed Sigma, lend me your strength. Grant me the will to purge the corrupt, to smite the heretic, to bring hope when hope is lost. <laughs> By the comet and the hammer, I pledge to the coming battle. I vow not to waver and never retreat. Still plenty of skulls out there, don't forget now.
I love them all. They're often credited for bringing Kung Fu to the West, and that's probably true in some ways. I grew up watching literally every single Jackie Chan movie on the planet on repeat. Perfect. Or Jet Li in Kiss of the Dragon. Hey, Epic. But most of their movies are actually more niche than you think and are mostly celebrated in the martial arts community for the intricate and well choreographed fight scenes. It's actually rare for a good kung fu movie to breach into the mainstream in the West and China alike. Kung Fu Panda did exactly that. Everybody knows Kung Fu Panda. It brought a fascination with China and kung fu to Western audiences on a massive scale. And it did such an amazing job doing so. I love kung fu! It was released in 2008, the same time of the Beijing Olympics, and in my eyes and my experience, that was the height of China opening up to the West. It's a movie filled to the brink with details and funny Easter eggs, so I thought this would be a very fitting movie for me to cover. Let's talk about its portrayal of Chinese culture and definitely Kung Fu. Let's go. Monkey, Mantis, Crane, Viper. Tigress. I love how early on Kung Fu Panda establishes that it wants to be taken seriously by the Chinese martial arts community. When I saw this, it immediately caught my attention. It's not referencing obscure forms like Di Tang Mei Hua Qian or Pao Qian or Da Hong Qian, whatever, but animal forms. Animals are cute and fit the movie, plus they are among the most advanced forms that there are. Usually the very last things you learn. When I went to China, I also thought, now when do I get to learn Tiger Claw? And my master said, no problem, 10 years. I did start learning praying mantis, eagle, and leopard, but that was towards the end of my stay. Also, crane. This is something that I see very often in kung fu movies or references. It certainly exists in some styles, but it is not practiced at Shaolin. The animals most commonly trained in the Shaolin temple are tiger, leopard, that's Tai Long, uh, the villain of Kung Fu Panda, by the way, snake, mantis, monkey, scorpion, duck, and dog form. Although they call it Di Long Chen because dog has a negative connotation in Chinese. I saw on Kung Fu Panda's trivia page that Poe's fighting style is bear style Kung Fu, and I also have to say that I've never seen or heard of such a thing. Obviously, anyone can invent a new animal style. It's not found in nature, it's invented. Nobody owns Kung Fu, and the amount of rare styles out there in China is endless. But I very much doubt it. I've also seen sources claim that he's doing some type of Tai Di Chen, and I could only find one master that practices that style, and I don't see any similarities to what Poe does. Poe mostly fights with the stomach, uses his and environment that does goofy things. Similar to Jackie Chan. That's not a kung fu style, that's just comedy. Nothing wrong with that, but let's not read too much into it. Coming! Now this is funny. Poe's throwing shuriken. Shuriken! Ninja stars. And some people got angry because that's Japanese, not Chinese. But uh, here's the kicker. At the entrance of the Shaolin Temple in China, they sell shuriken with all sorts of Chinese characters engraved. Shaolin is just a very big kraken that sucks up all martial arts related things and sells them as their own. Thought that would be a funny detail. Uh, if it's funny, comment funny. Oh, the sacred hall of warriors. No way. One of the ways in which Western media conveys that something is Chinese is by showering the audience with dragons. Everywhere, dragons, dragons, dragons. The channel Accented Cinema made a great video about this. This is why you don't see dragons carved into every pillar. Dragons have to be special. Dragons are cool, and dragons are a very important symbol in China, but because they're so important and meaningful, they're actually used sparingly. There might be some ornaments here and there, but it's not like this. And if you do see it, it might actually be something newly added, since Western portrayal of Chinese culture now retroactively impacts actual Chinese culture. Not a lot, but it can happen in very touristy areas. Kind of interesting. Listen, Uguay said that I was the, <gasps> the wuxi finger hold. I love this so much. The Wuxi finger hold. A single move of my finger and it's over. Guys, the Wuxi finger hold is a secret hidden ancient technique of Shaolin that nobody's allowed to mention actually, um, ever. No, of course not. This is the best though. Kung Fu Panda has a deep appreciation for all things Chinese. Bamboo, porcelain, palaces, buns, archways, acupuncture, noodles, and especially Kung Fu. Yet it doesn't shy away from poking a little bit of fun. There is no wuxi finger hold. There is no such technique, but it's also not a joke that is entirely absurd. The idea of a secret, super powerful technique that only very few masters in the mountains know is still rampant today. And for the most part, it's just not true. Sometimes you see videos of people going to China and being like, I am in the pursuit of real hidden Kung Fu. Then they find some master who doesn't teach anymore in the middle of nowhere and they think that's more authentic. There's some styles and forms that did and do get lost when the last remaining practitioners die, but there's no such thing as a super ability, despite a lot of very esoteric people believing it. Chinese martial arts aren't magic, okay? They're awesome, they're the best, but just chill. <laughs> 
this is not what accommodation will look like in any kung fu school in China, ever, anywhere. Actual dorm rooms have like 12 to 16 people in a room with bunk bed, dirty stone floors, sometimes not even a window, and the rooms in the Shaolin Temple weren't much better. There's a massive difference between the Wu Seng Tuan, which is the part of the temple where the warrior monks live, that part is dirty, dark, and packed and where the actual monks live. Those parts are significantly nicer, but still not like this. It's crammed full of stuff everywhere. You're stuck. Stuck? Not nah. what? Stuck? <laughs> Kung Fu Panda is a very inspirational movie, no doubt, but don't expect to get into box splits in a day, don't. Unless you're under the age of like eight, you'll hurt yourself. There's no such thing as being stuck in box splits without pain. Ho is in full splits, yeah, and he's getting up with no pain. He's got the splits. This will not happen to you. Getting a proper box split is months of hard work, nothing fun about it. I wish there was. And at his weight, he shouldn't really be doing splits at all like this. It's going to ruin your knees. If you're overweight and you want to do splits healthily, you need a partner, lie on your back and have them push your leg down, whatever. Don't do it like this. Pressure points. I've always wondered whether or not I get to address this one day. Before going to China, I also thought that some masters have this crazy pressure point knowledge. Pressure point kung fu. If they just press certain parts of your body, you'll be paralyzed. Uh, you collapse. Plot twist, it's not a thing. Listen, there are parts of your body that are more sensitive than others. Pressing very hard on those or hitting them can be painful and cause damage. Areas where a lot of nerves run through, like your neck, uh, I'm, I'm not disputing that. But first of all, that's not the type of pressure point marketing that we see very often. And would you be able to do that in a fight, almost certainly not. Every single video I've seen on pressure point kung fu is absolute garbage, mech dojo type stuff. Very questionable, nobody at Shaolin does it. Sometimes they also just show wrist locks or pressing someone's funny bone. Of course that's gonna hurt or be uncomfortable. I guess I would accept the whole pressure point idea if you redefine it as your jaw, your eyes, your throat, your groan, your solar plexus. But don't forget, I still think it's a super fun idea and for martial arts movies like Kung Fu Panda, a great addition. It's the best. Must believe. Master! Turtles, in Chinese, Wu Gui, like the master, carry a lot of meaning in China. Wisdom, long life, balance, it's almost endless. And Wu Gui becoming one with nature is deeply rooted in Chinese philosophy. He doesn't die, he returns to nature and becomes one with all things. He's in many ways a representation of Taoist thought. He lets things run their course. He rarely intervenes, and if he does, it's non-violently. Taoism emphasizes harmony with the natural world to accept and live in accordance with the flow of events, to not force your will onto the world. Just as when he chose Po to become the dragon warrior, I just wanted to see who the dragon warrior was. How interesting. Did he really choose him? No, he just accepted that that is what happened and he trusts in the natural rhythm of the universe. The panda will never fulfill his destiny, nor you yours until you let go of the illusion of control. Some people out there may have missed that the entire movie is the consequence of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Only by Shufu sending the duck to Tai Long does it lose a feather that helps him escape. This is even nonchalantly commented on by Wu Gui himself. Fly to Ta Gum prison and tell them to double the guards, double the weapons, double everything. Tai Long does not leave that prison. Yes, Master Shifu! often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. There's an expression in China called Yu Bi Zhi, Fan Ying Zhi. By avoiding things, you will welcome them. Just so you know, I'm not trying to convince you of this philosophy. I'm not a Taoist myself. Just pointing out that this movie right here did its homework. If he could read my mind, he'd have been like, what? Order up. Just a small comment, these are the most plain looking noodles I've ever seen. Kind of ironic that they don't have a secret ingredient because I think they may need one. Every time you threw a brick at my head, or said I smelled, it hurt, but it could never hurt more than it did every day of my life just being me. Now this is some real stuff right here. Kung Fu Panda does much more than just celebrate Kung Fu or Chinese culture. I'm often fascinated by how smoothly and elegantly a lot of animated movies can convey a positive and meaningful message. And this one is no exception. At its core, Kung Fu Panda is about self-acceptance and inner peace. Po becomes the dragon warrior by way of finding himself. The dragon scroll is empty. There is no secret ingredient in the soup. Although again, looks like it could use one. Chinese character for Wu in Wu Fu, which means martial arts, consists of Zhi and Ge. It means no weapons or to stop fighting. Fighting. And throughout Kung Fu Panda, the Dragon Scroll is seen as a very powerful weapon. It's all Tai Long seeks. Give me the scroll. Power through that weapon. Yet Po becomes a warrior by realizing that there is no weapon, only self-acceptance. It's all your own hard work. There is no secret ingredient. It's just you. 
this theme resonates deeply with Zen Buddhism that originates from the Shaolin Temple. Remember this from the Karate Kid? What do you see? Me? Well, my reflection. Yes. Now, what do you see? It's blurry. Yes. The woman was like still water, quiet, calm. In here and in here. We find it again in Kung Fu Panda. Your mind is like this water, my friend. When it is agitated, it becomes difficult to see. But if you allow it to settle, the answer becomes clear. It's a very common expression of Buddhist thought, not particularly complex, but can still be very meaningful in my eyes if delivered to the right person at the right time. Ming Xin Jian Xing, Zhou Le Cheng Fu. Face your own nature, become enlightened. Po is a cook, he loves to eat. Only when Shufu finds out that that is his nature, can he unleash his potential. A few months back, I made a review on the Shaolin Temple movie. There, we also had something similar, didn't we? We've come full circle now, haven't we? Now we've seen the values of Taoism and Zen portrayed in Kung Fu Panda, but there's one more traditional Chinese philosophy. Confucianism. And there's no shortage of it in the movie either. Although it includes very Hollywood style heroism, any one person, no matter how ordinary, can overcome great odds through hard work, a very individualistic approach, it also integrates Chinese ideas of community. Po relies on his master. Po's master relies on his master. The village relies on its virtuous leaders to guide them through dangerous times. It's a very hierarchical society. Po looks up to and respects the five. He's in pursuit of knowledge. It's crazy to me how so many different ideas come together so seamlessly in Kung Fu Panda. It's a movie that anyone can enjoy without any interest in Kung Fu or Chinese culture. But when you do, you'll find cool little details in every corner. Maybe that is the secret to its success. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Maybe rewatch the movie again. Also, be sure to check out my video on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It's just like this one. It's very educational. Bruh. All right, guys. Have a good one. Catch But one more very important thing. The most important point in this whole <laughs> one man's up. Tears of the Kingdom cost me 70 fucking bucks. Where is the Patreon Steve? Oh, hello, you can now hook and Listen, the rewards nobody gives a fuck about. So how about this? If you don't give me the money, I will commit a genocide. I'm going to Tokyo and I will hop, hop, hop. Thank you to all the patrons. Man, you know what? I love video games. So many great games out there. God of War 2018, 10 out of 10. Red Dead 2, 10 out of 10. Doom Eternal, 10 out of 10. RE4 Remake, 10 out of 10. Elden Ring, 10 out of 10. Super Mario Galaxy 2, 10 out of 10. Evil Within, 10 out of 10. Hitman Trilogy, 10 out of 10. Video games are great. Let's celebrate that together. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, give it. My wife is judging me in her eyes and I do not appreciate it. Rantoni Evangelioni. This sucks! Ooh, what the fuck? Ranton AI model. Yo! What the fuck is this? My <laughs> Yucky! What the fuck is this? I, I keep, I keep getting... Oh God! This is good. I have a big head. <clears throat> big head. But I get... It. Oh, what the fuck? Here yeah, I'm like a red hair girl? Damn, this is like me as a warrior. A Nordic warrior. With a Chinese or again. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like a Victorian mind worker. Whoa! <laughs> Don't look at that, Sophia. <laughs> Wake up, babe. The latest strand type game just dropped. Spoilers ahead for the worst story ever told. But like, you're an adult. Let's not do this. Also, I'm right about everything in this video. And if you disagree at any point, please close the video as a sign of mutual respect. This script is 13 pages long. So will everyone please get their weans out and turn to page one? We open with the story so far. In Destiny 1, you know how everything in the world is kind of ruined and stinky? That's because of the Collapse TM. But why collapsing? Bad engineer? No, it was this thing. The Witness. Or as I like to call it, the Brow. However, broken glass is inherently cool and thank you for doing that my brain like you anyway we thought the brow was the darkness but it only uses the darkness big diff it's leviosa you stupid bitch. Remember this chick from the last expansion? We technically killed her, but then her ghost got away. Uh-oh. So you're probably wondering where she's at. Wrong. Don't even think about it, and we will not be addressing that. Remember the final boss from Destiny 2's first raid five years ago, Callus, aka the Rich Thumb? This is him heading into surgery, about to be empowered by the most giga baddie this franchise has ever seen. After five years, I can't wait to see how his story ends, and I'm sure it will be cool and big. The great egg that's been sitting in our lap since Destiny 1 has moved slightly upwards. Everyone shut up. We're in space with the egg 
and it's time for a space battle directly in space with spaceships. These triangles are actually Emperor Palpatine's ships from Rise of Skywalker. They freelance on weekends. This is office window shot number one from the guy in charge of everything. <laughs> Pretty high octane. He seems very invested in how these events play out and will definitely leave that room at least one time. By pointing one finger, the witness kills exactly five of our ships and five was enough to piss off the traveler. It uses hyperbeam, except the beam is made of dreams and shrubs and sparkles, which is very pretty, but has no effect on the witness whatsoever. Bit of a bummer really, but everyone knows normal type moves have no effect on ghost type Pokemon. The witness also appears to possess the reality stone from Infinity War, which is surprising considering Marvel's recent decline at the box office. Then Captain Marvel crashes straight into this thing. But she lived, thank God. I'm sure nothing else bad will happen to her this season. The witness puts a muzzle on the trav, no problem. Everything turns red to show us that's bad. Please try and keep up, you brainless little goblin. Upon touching our trav, the brow has a vision of planet Neptune, and so begins mission number one. So we climb aboard Kalos' ship, which is headed for Nepaduski. Nepotism. Nep world path. But why go to? Let's hear it from the cranky old man who knows everything, but only when it's convenient to the story, Osiris. Kalos is after an artifact on Neptune, the veil. In the opening dialogue of mission one, we hear two very mysterious, but supremely important words. The Veil. Every good mystery starts with a single loose thread. I can't wait to unravel this masterpiece. I try to hitch a ride like the previous cutscene. I've done it once, I can do it again. Osiris decides we're at a theme park and it's his turn on the big boy ride. Hurry up. Those things say yeah, so the story was actually all downhill from this moment and choked me with a hot dog. I was not expecting that at the time. I would also like to ride the undisputed king of most guardian kills in Destiny, the car ball. There are sounds happening. The console wiggles a bit. Everything fades to black and when we fade back in, we're standing at the place we went. I'm no Disney Imagineer, but the best part of any roller coaster is usually right between getting on and getting off the ride. We couldn't have gone 3P of the light speed crash land for old time's sake, dude. That's third person, sorry for the abrev. I thought I accidentally skipped a cutscene. There was so little transition between these spaces. I was spamming escape, checking my friend's streams, like, well, hang on, what, just, what did they see? What was their point of view? Oh, it was just a fade to black. Shut up and welcome to Night City, a neon-soaked metropolis run by dystopian megacorps like Arasaka. Psych, that's cyberpunk, and this is Destiny you effing moron. They're very different. Do you even play games? We touch the mysterious sexy web for the first time and get a nice little Death Stranding tutorial. This is only the first mission, so that makes sense. I can't wait to use the subclass fully now that we've gotten the learning out of the way. Now we meet the coked up rookie and the grizzled my wife hasn't had sex with me in years mentor. Bleh. Nimbus and Rohan. The former keeps pushing Cabal with a surfboard like that's legitimate DPS and the latter kills a Tormentor in one shot by blowing up a few barrels. We were playing on Legend difficulty and that's an unreasonable amount of canister damage. Rohan lets Osiris out of his cage, and if it isn't 6 foot versus 5'11", a visual novel. Osiris reminds us that everyone's only objective should be to get to the veil immediately, but he doesn't elaborate. So how important is it really? And then Rohan says this. Not all of us have lives to spare. Rohan doesn't have a ghost that can resurrect him. When he dies, he's died. Except Osiris is one of the only guardians whose ghost also died. Resurrection mutually unavailable? And in conclusion, I have Ligma. Cloud Striders look like the cyberware from Cyberpunk was made by Pixar. Or like the Silver Surfer ran out of VFX budget halfway through production. Or like the Gambit Chrome shader bugged out on a tall human and they just went with it. I could keep going, but I respect you too much. Callus emerges from his bathtub surgery pod with the classic dip my right foot in gold only look. It's a rich person thing. Also a KFC chicken bucket hat and some exhaust pipes on his shoulders. This is what partnering with the most superior being in the universe gets you. A new outfit and a new cup. The witness appears through a broken window of reality to ask if Callus has the veil yet. Apparently the veil is the next step to the final shape. Please buy our next expansion also. It's supposed to be the dramatic conclusion to the light and darkness saga. So when the witness says the veil is the step before final shape, that seems kind of important. I can't wait to understand. Technically all these two colossal baddies did was stand in a room chatting, but I'm sure they'll do other stuff that's different from that also. Back at the neon tower, Nimbus says this. And here you come, zipping around, smacking bad guys with green strings. Stuff. I mean, enough about you. Now at this point, alarm bells are going off in my head. That style of dialogue is feeling kind of childish and is trying kind of hard, but Finch said some cringe stuff here and there back in Witch Queen. And overall, I didn't mind him too much, so maybe it'll be like that. Apparently Nimbus is a cloud strider, one of two security guards defending Neo Muna. That's the city all around us. I said that earlier, but as we all know, a Google Doc is unchangeable. Now why are there only two cloud striders for an entire city? That ratio feels very specific. I'm sure they'll explain it soon. Then Nimbus says this about the veil. I'd do pretty much anything 
to keep the Vale and the people of Neo Muna safe. So the Vale is as important as the safety of every person in the city. Let's add Nimbus to the list of people who seem to know what the Vale is while refusing to elaborate. I doubt this will grow over time. By the way, this one MacGuffin is the most important out of all the things. Okay, can you say what it is or why it matters? There's no time. Stop being selfish and evil, like Hitler. Instead, we get this line. You know the Vale's in danger. I know where those big guys are headed. Let's go do some hero stuff. As someone who's made a career out of trying desperately to be funny, this dialogue is trying desperately to be funny. And usually I wouldn't have a problem with that, except the tone of the cutscene moments before this was our universe is on fire and the two capital B baddies of the franchise are moments from doing the thing, the bad thing. So Nimbus's one-liners being fired off like it's an open mic at a comedy club are feeling as misplaced as my faith in Bungie to tell a coherent story post Witch Queen. Back to Osiris, who tells us this about Kallus. His pursuit of this object, the veil, is of dire importance. If he gets to it first, don't bother. Urgency is key. The old dot dot dot. Finally, someone gives us a decent explanation. Three dots in a row tells me all the things. No further questions, Your Honor. Let's go to recess and touch ourselves. In the meantime, why don't we add Osiris to the list of people who seem to know what the veil is while refusing to elaborate. Then we hear this on a radio broadcast. All citizens are promoted to active defense duties, effective immediately. Now, the only problem with that is all citizens currently look like this. Yeah, those extremely transparent, vaguely humanoid glowy spots. That's because when Kallus attacked, everyone fled to the cloud, like the iCloud cloud, the everyone signed up for Dropbox like their life depended on it cloud. You know I could go on. The people's physical bodies are all in cryopods, so unless this is the prologue to Fallout 4, they ain't coming to help. Someone should tell the radio guy that only the two cloud striders and a handful of guardians showed up to defend the universe. I'd be surprised if we lost this one, but place your bets accordingly. Nimbus tells us we're very close close to the veil now. Bro, I've been streaming this entire time with this bullshit in the background. What the fuck is wrong with me? No one's said shit. What? Oh, I did walk away and fucking... Bro, what the fuck? Nah. Oh, I hope I didn't say anything. I hope I didn't say anything derogatory. Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, where the fuck is it back on, man? What is nonsense? on the fucking screen, bro. Well, fuck you. Can I, like, mute the, uh, the sound on the game? The sound on the game. I wish I didn't sound like that, but whatever. That's what I sound like. I'm just gonna have to get over it. Whatever. That's what I sound like. I'm just gonna have to get over it. Whatever. Desktop audio. Can I... And Ghost says the clock. Oh, I'm glad that pops it off. But how do I only get the audio for the game?
No way, did that actually work? All right, let's mute. Let's mute that. Is that only going to pick up the audio from there? No way. Don't lie to me. No way, it actually works. Look at that, baby. You're getting pretty chummy with that reporter, huh? Be careful there. The mayor's got it in for her. Okay. Hey, Gabber. Got plenty of. Alright, whatever, bro. Like. I'm not there. Bring that ship all the way up. It looking good, baby. Look at that. Ah. Hey, we. We. closer we get, the more he doesn't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I doubt we need to pay attention to that, though. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So, the... closer we get, the more he doesn't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I doubt we need to pay attention to that, though. Possibly go wrong. Damn it. Why does it pick up? I don't want it to pick up the, the other audio. A USB cable, type V to T. Oh, that's why audio. Ooh wee, baby, look at that. Ah, ha, ha. Ooh. I guess when I talk, you can still hear it. I mean, we're kind of killing it out here. Dude, that ass could just watch the video while I do this now. Look at that. Fuck it. Ooh, spicy. Oh, but you can't hear the fucking music. Oh, I can specify it though, can't I? Ooh, we figured it the fuck out. Oh, we totally can. Let's go.
What do you mean mutual friends? He's on my oh he is on my friends list though. Huh? Hey, whatever. May your year be filled with Radial MacGuff to blow the veil, not in a fun way, then all Neomoonians will die because their Google Drive is also tied directly to the veil. We are closing in on a tangible definition for the Big V, I can feel it. Nimbus finally adds that we don't need any explanation as to why that's bad. I don't think you need a warlord translation for why that's bad. Every time someone mentions the dire stakes regarding the veil, there's also a hand wave and a wink, like we're all on the same page. And we are. Thank you for not wasting my time. But just when you thought Nimbus was appropriately respecting a tense story beat, it's okay if we lean back. I can try a little trust fall. Well, if you drop us, it might be my funeral, but whatever, it'll be fun. It's back to quirky, silly, I'm the best ever dialogue like Cade 6. But if he was never funny and never liked by anyone. So we're off to Kalos' ship to destroy the Radial. Along the way, Rohan asks some great questions. There's still a great deal we don't know. What is the Radial Mass capable of? How will it affect the Veil? What is the witness planning? Osiris rightly hand waves any possible explanation due to urgency. This is annoying and makes my pee-pee shrink. Because from near Moon of cutscene number one, we've been pressured onward relentlessly without any satisfying context. Also notice that Rohan doesn't ask what the veil is. That's because he already knows. He's going on the list. We find the radial USB, but uh-oh, it was a trap set by Kallus. He welcomes us to this final test of strength. Osiris tells us to ignore his effing bloviating, which is an 11 out of 10 choice of words. Credit where credit is belong. We kill all the things and get another strand tutorial for 76 seconds. Kallus summons an immune boss and that is my least favorite favorite type of shield. It looks like this is the end for us. Is what I would have said if Caitlyn, Callus's hot single daughter, didn't swoop in out of nowhere and save us. She somehow lowers the barrier that was previously impenetrable, probably with the power of daughterhood and sex. We sparrow to safety. We get an expository cutscene where Caitlyn describes her father. I think this is Daddy Cal stealing food from his baby girl. Callus used to be the Cabal Emperor, or super important super guy, until he was overthrown by Gaul. You remember him from the vanilla Destiny 2 campaign like five years ago? If you missed that, they've since deleted it from the game, so just take my word for it, I guess. There's Daddy Cal partnering with the Witness again, and I still can't wait to see what sicko mode power he's acquired. I haven't really talked about Osiris as a character yet, but just vibing his demeanor. He's very panicked and cranky, but only all of the time. And those are certainly valid emotions to feel because your ghost is dead. But also stop it because it's kind of a bummer. I did hear this one interaction that I really liked from him though. So at one point Nimbus says this. You know, when I first got the full set of mods, I was making friends with the ground every five minutes. It takes a second to find your balance sometimes. And Osiris says. So it does. I Appreciate the reminder. That was a certified gamer moment of sincere connection, delivered with a side of convincing emotion by Osiris' voice actor. Give us warm grandpa who appreciates every moment now that he can't resurrect anymore, instead of grumpy old troglodyte fumbling his saggy balls loser that no one- I know that that was too harsh, but I really got carried away with the insult, and my backspace key is on leave, so I, I couldn't change it. This ungodly wall of text explains that the Cloud Ark, the Google Drive containing every Neo citizen, is infrastructure built on the Veil's power. If you want answers around here, you need a master's degree in paying attention. Luckily, nothing gets past this laser focus. Nimbus says we should do this with the server. If we can cycle the power, a hard reset like that should kick things back into gear. We're literally turning it off and on again. Troubleshooting is similar in the future. We start mission four and out of nowhere, the ghost does something I actually thought was forbidden. He asks for an explanation. Rohan, I think we're still a little fuzzy here. What exactly is the cloud art? So we could just ask this whole time if we wanted more information. I have multiple asking to have. Also, this is the first thing the ghost has needed clarification on this whole campaign. He's going on the list. How else do you explain such an abysmal lack of curiosity? Rohan then says this about the cloud arc. It's our city's network, our infrastructure, our people, our defenses. Everything depends on it. Yeah, that's too many things in one thing. How about we diversify some of the stuff out of that risky bundle? Anyway, wouldn't you know it, the Vex are currently stealing energy from that everything in one thing cloud reactor. The Vex have been around doing stuff this whole time, but it wasn't really worth mentioning up until now. The Vex are like ants, always up to something, but unless they're eroding the foundation of my house, I don't need to hear about it. We got another strand tutorial for literally one jump, cock and ball torture. We kill a bunch of Vex and reboot the reactor. But uh-oh, Yugi, you fool. It was a trap, and now we're running from the Shadow Realm Legion. We get strand for another 16 seconds. That's not a joke, by the way. I time the footage every strand tutorial. I am that petty, and I've been that petty. We kill a bunch of shadow boys and use strand for another 53 seconds to escape the building before big splot-
Back at the tower, Osiris is fondling his sugar balls and goes into a rant about the light and darkness, saying we thought we were the good guys because we wielded the light, but actually light and dark aren't even moral or opposite because the traveler is a gardener. Therefore, the light is the domain of the physical, like forehead kisses, and the darkness is the domain of my butthole. No, the psychological. For example, dreams, nightmares, emotions, pain, memory. Nimbus interrupts to say something about a river from an old nursery rhyme, and the conclusion is we are that river. But mentioning the river causes Osiris' arm to get very excited. A nursery rhyme being a major breakthrough is fitting for this level of story. So obviously I have no qualifications as a writer and I dropped out of high school, but here's why Nimbus words are bad actually. It was this little pseudo cutscene monologue that forced me to articulate what I thought was the problem TM. So based on Dog, the get stop. group, there's Dog, two lines please. of dialogue here. Am I a bad person for caring about this throwaway tower speech? Yes. Am I probably wrong on all accounts? Yes. Am I unqualified? Yes, but am I going to justify every criticism like my life depends on it? Also, yes. Let's get toxic and arrogant. I talked with Osiris. You know, he gives off uptight museum volunteer vibes, but he's a nice guy when you catch him one-on-one. -on -one. This was a decent roast attempt, but the writers didn't commit enough to make it good. They soften the blow on either side, which waters it down too much, IMO. Instead of saying, you know, he gives off XYZ vibes. It should have been, yes, he's an uptight museum volunteer, but he's pretty nice one-on-one. -on -one. Just by changing a few little words, that roast goes from weak Zoomer energy to getting obliterated live on television. He got me thinking, which is a compliment I can give very few people. Then we've already had a good joke, so we can cut line two. I know a place for your strand can stay as line three. Speaking of compliments, you never fail to amaze me. You know that? Everything that's come at us, you're just like, bam, boom, and suddenly whatever's coming at us ain't coming at us anymore. And we just keep doing it like it's nothing. Lines four, five, and six are all Open the door. cringe pandering that's so overdone it loses all meaning. Just a simple, hey, it's been great since you got here. Love having you on the team. Would've been fine. The first time Rohan told me I did a good job, I'd given up hoping for it. And by the time I got it, I didn't need it. In hindsight, I think he did that on purpose, but whatever. I promised myself I'd do it different when I took over. Nimbus shows us there is some maturity in there with line seven and eight, and not just a bunch of flippant childish hubris that addresses everyone like they're 15 years old. So we've condensed four, five, and six into one line that's actually meaningful and not cringe. Line seven is really solid. That's an adult speaking. Yay for adults talking. Line eight is the first real telegraph to me that Nimbus might be Big the up. head cloud strider soon. And if you just ended the monologue there, I would be pondering that exact thing in the moment. But instead they wrote something about head, shoulders, his knees and toes. The old man might think compliments go straight to your head, but if that helps you strandify and what the fuck? By all means, let it go to your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I mean. Is this an episode of Peppa Pig? Let's just have Dora the Explorer voice the rest of this campaign, so at least it'll make sense tonally. What the F is going on here? So, in hindsight, we only needed five out of those ten lines. I think efficiency really matters in writing, and when you're under-explaining the story whilst over-emphasizing jokes and it's not a comedy, that just feels frustrating and abrasive. And if the jokes aren't landing on top of all that, it's just a train wreck in motion, and how did this even get made? Unfortunately, I feel like most of these critiques could probably also apply to a lot of the campaign dialogue just overall. Wrong tone, inefficient, unfunny. Which I'll agree could be said of most of my videos. So we're off to get to the bottom of Strand, and not its OnlyFans curvy bottom sex appeal bottom. It's origin bottom. And this time we actually get almost four full minutes before it's ripped away. So we're over halfway through the campaign and we still can't handle more than a few minutes at a time with the main selling point of the expansion. The constant yo-yoing is starting to feel like my body weight as a long-term gamer. The justification for why they keep yanking it back off us isn't great either. Ghost is saying we need a breather. Osiris is saying stop being a little bitch. Except we aren't backing away, are we? It's being forcibly removed. So that dialogue rings very hollow. Like Bungie's Vidoc, when they said you will feel like the tip of the spear. Does this look like the tip of the spear? Or does it look like my poopies burned my butt? Me ouchie. We kind of get Strand back for the rest of the mission whilst constantly taking micro breaks for reasons, blah blah blah. Final boss down and the mission that was all about Strand doesn't unlock it. But ends with Osiris saying we're still missing something and that he needs more time. I'm about to turn 30 Osiris, but unfortunately time comes for us all. Get it together you effing guy. So if the whole thing is that nobody has Strand yet and we as Guardians are discovering it like the darkness archaeologists we are. How come Strand shield on big guy? Why bad boy have Strand? So we cut to him doing a big thinky think at the Puka Pond. Sagira, could you run some scans? Oh. 
Right. Yeah, Sagira is dead, my guy. These little space fishies are my only reason for existing now. And if I can't have one as a ghost shell, my destiny journey ends here. And then Rohan says something that tilts me. And we're back to the writing. But stay with me. I know it's arrogant to criticize a team of professional writers having written nothing of value myself. But also, I'm right about this. Okay, here's the line. I know I haven't been the easiest guest in your city. Pain is not a hindrance. Simply reminds us we're still breathing. Still fighting. To me, if a piece of dialogue is too obvious, boring, confusing, or cringe, it's bad writing. And I'm not talking about the delivery itself here, just the words. So when Rohan says, pain is not a hindrance, it simply reminds us we're still breathing. Someone says, hey, Rohan should say something about pain, and he's a wise old mentor figure, so it should be profound. Something about pain actually being good, and that it reminds us we're still breathing. And someone else said, perfect. No one else make any additional suggests. There's no time we have to move on. So that's why I'm rating that dialogue obvious and boring out of 10. Maybe I can do better. So after thinking about it for 90 seconds, here's the line that I came up with. And if this line isn't better than the original, I'm wrong about everything and close this video immediately. So here's my replacement. What is pain? but the shadow of joy. Now I think that's better, but I always think I'm right due to various childhood trauma and extremely high intellect. I just cannot accept that a team of professional writers couldn't think of anything more interesting than pain reminds us we're still breathing. The same can be said of other feelings. Love reminds us we're still breathing. So does laughter and anger and grief and Ebola. No, that's a different thing. So much of the narrative in this campaign just feels like the first draft that no one had time to iterate or improve in any way. So we're off to find the radial MacGuffin, but for real this time. On the way, we get not one, not two, but three micro strand tutorials totaling two minutes and 16 seconds like it's an end of year clearance sale then we reach a dead end and rohan blasts through the wall with his big muscles and pointy board but like if he can just get through anything why are we traversing this labyrinth of vents when he could have made a tunnel straight to the thing the cosmic usb cable is attaching to the veil so rohan jumps aboard to stall it or unplug it he doesn't seem very tech literate so i do have my doubts about that then it crunches him like a triple a studio making a video game some generic boss battle dps we get strand for another 41 seconds but i'm too busy making gamer plays up in this bitch. Osiris says we can use Strand to destroy the radiator. But oopsie, our tummies hurt, LMAO. We're tired. No healthy help. So Rohan sacrifices himself to destroy the thing and theoretically save us for now. Nimbus asks us to pick up his core. But if their entire population is uploading their consciousness to the cloud, then why can't Rohan's be recovered from his core? In fact, when we get back to the tower, Nimbus is going to call it Rohan's quote-unquote drive. So what kind of ultra futuristic hard drive can't store human brain data? We're told Neomuna has like 10 times the technology humanity did during our golden age. You're telling me they don't know how to put a copy of someone's consciousness in the cloud? Will control C, control V in the future? Otherwise they're 50% less secure when one of the cyber boys goes down. It just feels like they have the technology to handle this problem, but it's too inconvenient to the plot. So it's glossed over. And maybe there are some good answers. They're not here. But also we don't know Yi Rohan. He was in literally two cutscenes and now he's dead. Like we're supposed to care. You gotta get me to feel anything before you try and make me feel something. Humans are very complex like that. So we're back to Callie and Witty talking in a room. The same room from earlier. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here, but this is Callus's final cutscene. The end of a five-year journey. And all that happens is that, similar to my dad, the witness calls him a pathetic, useless failure, and he bleeds out of his own face in excruciatingly high detail. We'll come back to Callus, but for now, let's move on to another out-of-touch Nimbus monologue that pissed me off. The first half is making fun of Osiris for being obsessed with Strand, which is fine, except why are we even still talking about Strand? And that should have been wrapped up by the end of the Strand mission at the latest. We're still talking about mastering Strand, like it's this week's homework assignment. Meanwhile, the universe could end at any moment. Any perspective in chat. Then we end with this from Nimbus. I think Rohan would have agreed. And so do I. Not because he's dead. Holy oh, shit! Automatically agree with a dead guy, although it's not like he's really in a position to argue, am I right? The first half of the monologue was already so lighthearted and jovial that I'm drowning in the wannabe Marvel tone. So to close with this from Nimbus, when Rohan died basically two minutes earlier, just doesn't make sense and feels so disrespectful. Are there any stakes in this story or not? Does Nimbus care about a dead guy or not? Anything matter or no? Look, it's fine. I'm sure they adjust to a more appropriate tone in the next cutscene. Systems are late, with 80% of defenses now operational. I'm full of fury, she's got an army, and you got magic green strings. Let's crush this callous guy. Yeah, this story hates you for caring. If you believe there was any tension or stakes at all, you're dumb and stupid and hate children and have killed innocent people. Remember the screaming urgency of the first few missions? Well, what if we dove into a Kung Fu Panda, Master Shifu, Training Po, Rocky Balboa montage where we finally unlock Strand after all this time? No Strand have yet. Yeah, so I'm unclear on the timing and purpose of that spectacle other than we're getting closer to the sexy web question mark. Just Bro, to remind what? you, this is a very serious and legitimate campaign. Osiris says this. 
We have never struggled harder against a greater evil. Thanks, Osiris. I couldn't agree more, and it almost didn't even need to be said. Anyway, this mission is another strange tutorial where we kill the guy and don't unlock it. Oh, good, happy to be here. And now for a dramatic recreation of my narrative expectation versus reality. We must stop. So we're off to see the veil. That thing we all understand and know about. Oh, I see. They've set us up for a cool gameplay moment by putting the thresher here, and then we're going to get to... Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Whoever put this thresher here is deeply unlovable and probably thinks the Star Wars sequel trilogy was a cinematic masterpiece, including the part where Leia is an ice wizard. We kill about a million guys and end up at the vault, which is the last thing protecting the veil. And it's still locked, so that's great. Nothing to worry about. And it's open. Callus appeared in his bulbous sky head form and just blew it wide open. So onward to the veil. I feel like better not who's fucking kill me. the world to meet the hot chick he's been DMing online. Praying she's Reload the guy. a guy named Jeremy. After eight hours of campaign, the ghost finally says this. That must be the veil. It's massive. At the risk of getting out of my depth, uh, it appears to be a psychedelic jellyfish-like substance. Interestingly, no one makes a single comment about the veil now that we are arrived. Not Osiris, not Nimbus. No one wants to elaborate on the Olympic-sized ayahuasca pool. Nothing in the Destiny universe has ever looked like this, and the characters that have been mouthing off all campaign have nothing to add. Well, touch me in my trauma spot. Anyway, it's final boss time, and is it just me, or does Callus look kind of goofy? The sassy turnaround and the bucket helmet. We're finally ready to see what it looks like to partner with the giga-powerful universe being. But so far, it's a purple tracksuit and a new drill. Callus even says he's been waiting for this day a long time. He's done his waiting. 12 years of it. In Azkaban. No, but this is the climactic final battle, and so far he's basically a colossus with a reskinned gun. Although once you drain his health, he activates phase two by ripping his gun in half with his chonky fingies. That's pretty neat. But his new attack is the bulky equivalent of a red bar gladiator slash. I get it. Making game do big hard. But this moment was the end of a five-year villain arc, except he doesn't feel like he changed at all the whole time. Narratively and in game, he didn't seem any more powerful than usual. He kinda goes out with a whimper, like the firework I put up my b-hole that time for science. I get that he's gluttonous and lazy, and so that's the point, Jez. He contributes nothing, and that's right in line with his character, but also be more interesting, you know what I mean? And he deserved better. It's his final word as he's dying that might be the only exception to everything I just said. Kamele. Who is that? Who is name said? Well, it turns out Bungie gave more nuance and depth to this character in his final word than the rest of this expansion combined. Kamele was probably his first wife and one true love. According to the Vanguard lore book that came with the Lightfall Collector's Edition, that's right, this storytelling pissed me off so much that I dove into the lore I've avoided for eight years and got my own effing answers. Let me set the scene. This is Keitel talking to her father right before the coup mentioned in the animated cutscene earlier, where Callus was overthrown as Emperor. She's struggling internally, trying to decide whether she wants to warn Callus about the upcoming betrayal. So she asked him one more time for answers about her mum. And he's never told her Bro, what, what the fuck? What happened to Kamele from the book now. What of my mother? Didn't you want her back? Oh, child. He looks into his wine, into his bone, and he begins to salivate with tears. She had to care for me when I was but a husk of a man. I was selfish. I was cold. I broke too much between us. And I cannot bear to hear him stumble any closer to grief. And she left. And then you found someone else. I quickly finish. Yes. Now, in that moment, she technically doesn't even believe her father. But why would she? He's heard her for too long by then. She's centuries old. Either way, this is the side of Callus I wish we could have seen. A husband and father who lives with the regret of losing his first love. Who carries the weight of past mistakes on his back. And who turned to gluttony to escape the pain. Struggling to be vulnerable and connect with his favorite daughter. Who is herself on a knife's edge between loyalty and betrayal to her father. I can see why people get into lore because that is an interesting story. Way more interesting than the gluttonous, power-hungry, selfish, one-dimensional bad guy portrayed in game who hasn't changed in the five years we've known him. One is a deeply flawed family man, and the other is every generic bad guy ever. If only you dared to bring some shades of grey to his character. Maybe I'm conflicted to kill him, knowing deep down was the heart of an evil, but maybe also kind father and husband. Instead, we're just told he's an animal, he's evil, don't worry about it, don't feel anything. And so we don't, until his dying breath hints at a tragic story that will never be told, that was far more interesting. And just to get everyone excited and to agree, here's why lore doesn't count for me when I'm evaluating a story. The campaign is the story you actually told and the law is the story you could have. The movie is the story the director actually told and the interview where he clarifies some loose ends is the story he could have. The book is the story the author actually told and their blog posts are the story they could have. I know you're mad, but stay with me. Can the extra tweets, blog posts, interviews, and knickknacks be interesting? Yes. Can they clarify? Yes. Can they tell stories? Yes. Can Why they did they teleport? What the fuck? Yes. 
all the extracurricular stuff in the world doesn't change the Scoot fact the that shit you out of me. the story you could at the time. And that is the story I experienced. Now, obviously my case is airtight, but if you disagree, you're wrong. No, it's obviously fine. If Bungie explains nothing in the campaign and then releases a blog post or a new mission that fills in all the gaps, and for you that counts as a story well told, then I salute you and please pray for me. They are going to explain what the veil is in some form or another, but that won't fix the narrative failure of Lightfall for me. Back to the campaign. After we kill Callus, RIP Big Daddy, our ghost says this. Hey, uh, do you guys feel that? Warning us way ahead of time that something is wrong. So hopefully we're on high alert. Seeing as a few cutscenes ago, he was chatting with Supreme Bad Guy number two while possessed by Supreme Bad Guy number one. But let's see what happens. Caitlin arrives and has kind of a moment with her dead father saying, no more running away, rest now. There's a somber tone and rightfully so with the backstory I dug from the ancient texts. Thankfully, Nimbus is actually respectful and doesn't ruin- The uglier they are, the harder they fall, right? Poison me or at least paralyze me so I can escape the pain of being alive. That may have been the most tone deaf line of dialogue ever delivered through this medium. The ghost takes off weirdly speaking in a possessed voice. We stare blankly, even though we've already seen this. Osiris screams, get your ghost, and we stare blankly. The ghost says something and we stare blankly. Nimbus yells something, and we stare blankly. Back to ghost, we stare blankly. Then Cardle yells, and we finally unfreeze. But instead of just grappling the ghost toward us with Strand, we pull out the Kvostov, an eight-year-old gun I haven't touched since my mother's womb. I had between three and 30 guns on me, depending on how full my inventory was, but instead, they went with that, probably for immersion. And that was a good call. A giant beam connects to the Trav, and Nimbus grabs the ghost at the speed of light, sparing us from pulling the trig. Why that couldn't have been done any earlier is also a mystery. Our ghost is fine, but then Cardle says, we just lost. We page back to Zavala, who hasn't left what may as well be his office for the entirety of this world-ending event. The witness is also in the same spot we left it in that first cutscene. Like, no time has passed for this entire expansion. Almost like everything in between these two cutscenes was filler content and didn't matter at all. Anyway, the pyramid ships have made a sun emoji with a traveler. Maybe that's the final shape. Feels a bit low brow, so I hope I'm wrong on that. The witness draws what appears to be a triangular door colored like the veil, sends the ships in, and crosses maybe to the inside of our big egg. We fade to black with no actual explanation and all the blood is rushing to my tits. Other than Zavala saying this back at the tower, The Traveler, God, should I feel humbled by this sacrifice? Relieved that it can't grant any more of our enemies the light? I have so many questions. How do you know Shut it's gone? How is that a sacrifice? Up. How do you know it can't grant the light anymore? Why are you smiling if things are bad? Maybe Ikora will clear things up for us? The Traveler is gone. The Witness has transformed the Traveler and gone somewhere we cannot follow. How do you know it's gone? What transformation specifically? Why can't we follow it in there? Why are you doing and my face what? is Holy sh what? like this? Okay, what? What? <laughs> I didn't hear you join or streaming. No, no, I never, you never. I will never play Polo. Oh, because I don't want to like force breed people. It's weird. I wish there were better perks in this fucking game. I mean, you can get them by traits, but. Like Fallout New Vegas, all of those ability, like all of those perks plus the deal, like DLC ones on top of mods, is kind of nutty. Oh, that one, yeah, that was great. I did it once because you needed to do like subpar three, so you had to eat Mr. House, you had to eat the President, and you had to eat uh, Caesar. I was like, fuck, how am I going to do all of these missions? And I was like, oh, I got to do this before I do that. I was like, fuck. Yeah, it's house. You just walk up to him, you swing, and then he pops out real quick, and he jump scares the shit out of you. They, uh, uh, OBS put in a, uh, a voice thing. Wait, did I not? Wait, talk. Poo -poo. OBS put in a uh, fucking uh, audio input as a beta, so now you can manually audio choose. Jungle. You can manually choose what talks and what doesn't. And I'm like, fucking finally, dude! I don't, I don't need an extension. I was like getting super hype. 
my part that it take them like twenty years. I don't fucking know, dude. They're fucking stupid. Don't say that. They're listening. What are they gonna do? Fight me? Yes. Uh, Discord. Audio. But yeah, where were you? I came back from my walk and you started playing Risk of Rain. I was like, damn, bro, everybody leaving me. Everybody the backstabbing me. You were in the AFK channel for like two hours. I went for a walk. I I didn't know the how far the walk was. I <laughs> I walked from Chula Vista all the way to Cardenado uh, military base. And I looked around and I had my book bag um and I had it I had the, the buckle in the front and that's usually like a, a fucking recruit thing. And I looked around, there was a guy staring at me in the car, and I was like, I looked over and I'm like, that's the fucking base right there? How the, yeah. how far did I walk? I was like sitting there watching every time, like looking back and forth between the chats, so I was like, you still not that. I started walking in the wrong fucking I was like, is he gonna come in? Right? What's he doing? And I was like, did he walk forever? I mean, kind of, because I was like, I'm gonna keep going. No, I was going through my emotions and shit. But it's not, it was, it was like, you know, it's the whole thing where, like, you want to scream and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. Yo, yo. Nah, it was just, because I was like, well, it's going to be, it's not going to be appropriate if I just start fucking screaming or, like, running at full fucking speed. I'm just going to walk and think about things. Yeah. And then I called my dad, and I was like, cool, I can just catch up with him real quick. And then that went on for a little too long. Oh, well, I was gonna say something before you left. <laughs> what were you but... gonna say? I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, what were you gonna say? Uh, stream, don't listen to me for ten seconds. Stream, don't listen to me. Oh, I'm telling the stream not. To, telling the stream not to listen to what I'm about to say. Oh, like, so just mute it? Not until then, they shut up. Wait, I don't understand. Don't tell them. Don't tell them what? I don't know. This dude wants me to play fucking TF2, bro. I don't want to scream and shit. Wait, what do you mean? Like, I, like, actually, or are you just memeing? No, yeah, actually. Actually meet the stream? Yes. Okay, hold on.
I love you, Blabbot. <laughs> this is not the voice I was expecting. Blabbot, I love you, Blabbot. <laughs> I didn't mean it! Filch! Die! That's wrong! So wrong! But nobody's bleeding! It's such a good picture. What I still want to make. I still want to make the picture of Muhammad dunking on. Uh, to make such a good picture. To Jesus to go uh, a la mode. <laughs> that's Discord audio. That's my mic. That's my music one. That is the one that... No, that's just the YouTube one. Wait, hold on. Because well, I can mute that for now. And what's this one? It's all over but the cool. Oh, it's the video game audio. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Change the name of these fucking. Change the name of it. This man is a professional. Uh, video game. <clears throat> I like this. This is dope. What is it? Just like how I can change the auto for everything. Discord said I had a link. Uh, and then I tried to open up what it showed me and nothing up here. <laughs> That's cool. I'll never know. You're saying, you're saying, I don't know what you're saying, but my bad. I didn't get your attention. But you know well I got I fucking got a fucking aggression. <laughs> it kills me every time. Do these on a mission. There's the church in, in the middle of the fucking uh, Commonwealth. And every time I walk through the loading screen, I just die. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to combat this? And they're just super mutants, bro. They're fucking me up. My hope is one day your stream just randomly blows up. And my face just becomes a mystery. <laughs> I hope everything does. That's the whole point. Like, I'm of just never up. here. I'm like, I'm never here. <laughs> and it's just my face shows up. And they're just like, who is that? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking... Who is that? Well, the good thing is that I have plenty of audio. Now. Why is my... Do you see my game right now? What the fuck? What about it? The little choppiness? It's the area. Well, because the game was like my like iron sights was on the like left side of my oh, entire right. screen rather than on where it should. Oh, started. I didn't see that. No. Is it choppy? I don't know well, what I installed the new just drivers. The area. They got fixed. Well, I mean, it's not gonna do anything. It's just the area in this fucking game, anyway. <laughs> Bye, dog mate. You only kill the weakest of us. It only makes us stronger. I've never done this quest, so it's gonna be good. Neither. 
It's all over but the cry. It's but over. It's over. Yeah, I, I gave that a lot more emotion in my mind from what it actually is. It, 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 what do you mean? It's pretty emotional. He just goes, it's over. <laughs> but I, I always go, it's that's, I mean, that's how he says it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I want to know why the, the bobby pin is golden. I don't know. I guess to differentiate so you can see accurately what you're doing. Also... It's over! It's I love the rain. It's, it's it over! Stop, Get it's so loud. Get the fuck out of here! Can we do really it again? quiet for me. Get the fuck out of here! No, Discord picks that up. Stop. I mean, my sound is right? it's gets super fucking loud. He said, "Do it again." <laughs> I, I, yeah, but like, I needed to, I needed to know you spammed it, little bitch. I did the hogger run. I killed him, and then it didn't give it to me, and I was pissed. Did you kill it before you were level ten? <laughs> oh my god! I have to save all the way back here. <laughs> I killed him at level 9. Why did you just fall over? I fucking got clapped. I didn't even get to see what happened. I just look over and you just fall over. I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I kind of like the difficulty, but it's kind of bullshit. So everything dies in a headshot? Well, no. that I don't know why it's not working that way. It's supposed to. That's Unless they have a helmet. Because I could put in... If they have a helmet, it doesn't kill them. That's stupid. But they have a helmet. What are you talking about? Why? What? If I shoot you in the head, even with a helmet with a fifty caliber bullet, you have you're dead. You have a helmet. You're still dead. <laughs> if I put your face in a meat grinder, <laughs> and the only thing that comes out is your eyeball, then you're probably dead. I love the um. The fuck was it? Oh no, I forgot what I was gonna say. Ah. That's the only bad thing about custom shotguns in this fucking game. It fully reloads the entire fucking magazine. It's like, oh, thank you guys. Your shotgun really... doesn't have a magazine. I don't know, does it? I'm stupid. I don't know, man. Does it? Your shotguns have magazines? Know. You just feed um, it through. Some it. of them do. Some of them, most of them don't. You'll see. I don't it know what they in. consider I'm gonna it. figure you it just... out. I don't, I don't know how they consider it. You just refill the gun. <laughs> Reloading. It's like, do you have any more slugs I can use? <laughs> it's like, do you want a mag? He's like, no, you fucking idiot. Hey, click. What? Yeah. No, there's still one missing. You're not locked in, bitch. Fuck if they cannot kill one, you do you win. I will fuck him. Fucking god, dude. You fight win for a human. Would you like to expose yourself? I mean, on the harder difficulties of Risk of Rain, um, Typhoon. The, the artifact of command is pretty difficult. I don't really ever like using the artifact of command, especially in no, those was just no, because I, I hear you. I hear you. You're that. gonna die as soon as you yeah, try to do it. That's what I mean. Like if you picking up picking up the item is the challenge, but like having ones yeah. randomly drop, it's kind of it just makes it easy because all you do is pick it up and then you're good. You go back to whatever. Yeah, you don't get exactly what you want, but you're gonna you're eventually gonna get something fucking busted. <laughs> eventually, it's so if weird. You can click it correctly. Well, like, without the artifact command. Are you a fucking dead? It's all over. The dog had a ladle on him. Anus. Yeah, he probably ate it. One of the, uh... One of the fucking bandits had an explosive shotgun. And every time he looked at me, I fucking got decimated. He eviscerated oh, my body. <laughs> The explosive shotgun is about the only gun in this game that I'm like, oh, I like this. I like the explosive rifles, too. Yeah, true.
Also, super moons are the only ones that can use hunting rifles to the maximum efficiency. And it pisses well, me too, off. They're too big for them not to be able to use it correctly. This is just, they, 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 it does so much fucking damage. <laughs> but when I use it... <laughs> By the time I fucking cock it, I'm dead. Also, this this fucking this fucking uh, Chicago typewriter is fucking busted as shit. Beyond, been a long time, comrade. Krauser. Code Veronica. Code Veronica. I love how I resubscribe to how I'm a cutie pie and fucking Dyrus and all they do is fucking stream. Ah! <laughs> Did you say it like it was a horrible thing? <laughs> no, I got exploded. <laughs> oh no, I mean like why did you say it? Them streaming like it was a bad thing. <laughs> like, I can't believe all they do is fucking the stream. <laughs> the notification is just so often. Is there a mod for like the mutant dog to be your companion? Probably. Because they're cool as fuck. Probably. Well, I mean, you could probably take one as your companion, but I don't know if you can just. If it'll be like the in game ones. If that makes sense. Who's strong in Rex? What? Who's strong in Rex? I don't know. They say he's gonna put me in the cage with strong and Rex. Uh, probably a mutant. <laughs> I thought Fist. Oh, strong is the super mutant, right? The one that's gonna be your companion. I thought it was Fist, but I guess it's not. I thought his name was Fox. I don't know. No, that's <laughs> no, that's Fox. It's Fox is from Fall Three. I wonder if you can get a mod for him in here. Probably. Oh, that's what I need to reinstall the Nightkin in this game. It's all over, but I'm Honey, I don't want to set the world on fire. I love you too much. Daddy. What if he didn't? What if he did? It's like really hot in this fucking room. I feel like safe scum just to not die. Oh my god! That's fucked up. Why don't synths have genitalia? They do. <clears throat> Only the new models. She think that's a little fucked up? No. Oh, yeah, the mod config. There we go. I could probably do it from there. Faster workshops. Which, what hotkey should I put it for that? Is there anything for L? Is there a hotkey for L? Yeah, he goes, I know you're Kira. What? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Because his you, name is L. You honestly have to. Up. You honestly have to be stopped. Because <laughs> I'm Kira. <laughs> and then he started busting it down. 
He's obviously on some sort of ecstasy. Fucking hate vats in this fucking game. <laughs> I like it because the slow mo is funny. You like you hate it because it sucks. We are not the same. <laughs> <laughs> It's all over, but my balls are inside of you. And I just can't seem to take them off. Hello. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Dude, these super mutants are too fucking strong. They one tap me. I have 50% damage threshold on top I of the realistic over damage. I have million power. On top of the fucking stupid trait that gives me double XP, but also takes double the damage. I have 80 million power. I'm trying to think if I should take the four syringes or the four lens maker glasses. Why does Mario I want the attack speed? You want the four what? Uh, syringes or lens maker glasses, but I want just the, get the uh, just get the syringes. Fucking that was that fifteen uh, times four. Well, because the syringes, my my ultimate ability scales off attack speed, and I just spin around shooting like crazy. So I was like, I want that instead. Why did I know you were gonna play the mercenary? It's not the mercenary. It's the uh, the cow cowgirl, cow. Uh, no, the uh, the deputy. That's what she's called. That's weird. She does like fucking devil may cry gun spinning shit. God, I wish I was gun spinning shit. And you can throw her revolvers like uh like the hunter th or the huntress like Ocelot. throws her bow, but it just has the revolvers floating in the sky shooting at things. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, so if I have the items on fucking quick... That's fucking stupid. What? If I have the items on my hotbar, the quick bar... They won't reload. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering, because I didn't know that either, that they reload, because I always use the quick thing. That's what I was going to do. I was going to be like, alright, okay, sweet, I can do the fucking... Swap, 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 shoot, 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 swap. No, it doesn't work like Don't that. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> Why? It was... Swap, swap, shoot, shot, swap. <laughs> Shit was cool. Shut up. You're a fucking hater. I am. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to come to your house, little boy. Oh, my God. He on X Games. I was like, what, do I, do, we what have... do I put for the border? And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put patches. I was going to get the moving one for my background on wallpaper, but I was like, man, that's going to be too much. So I decided to grab patches from every video game except for Armored Core. <laughs> except for Armored Core? Yeah, he's in Armored Core. What the fuck? <laughs> and it's funny, too, because his mech doesn't make sense. <laughs> He has like a he has a sniper build for a, he has a sniper tank mobility build that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's, just, it's even more funny. I can't wait for the new armor core game to come out and they put him in. Well, so I got two mods to make the shotgun spread tighter. 
and to go out farther. <laughs> and it's just, it just still doesn't work. It's like these guns are still <laughs> fucking ass. Why do they keep I mean, making shotguns really... fucking terrible? I mean, they're the slug ones that are pretty good, but they're few and far between. These motherfuckers are stealing all the items. I have six items. They have like 20. What, did you Damn, it's get... looking real lonely over here with my six items right now. Did you get the difficulty mod? Uh, Probably grab uh, yeah, that. Typhoon. Uh, I think that's a modified one. Oh, well, yes. Why don't I always get the fucking eccentric vase? Every time. It's pretty good. It is. I just do I always get it and I'm like, what right. I realized that the electric the electric uh fuse one, the little nail is actually really fucking good. Like that zap is so good. Did you download the fucking TFT uh uh items? No. You should uh, I don't think so. They have uh they have Rage Blade, Leandre's mask. Uh, hard steel, uh, Bork. Oh, uh, I don't and... know why I thought you said TF2. No. That was a TF2 item, so that'd be pretty dope, too. Dog meat, why are you getting clapped right now? Holy it's shit, just a dog chasing a bone. Also, I would really like you to spend time with me on fucking Saturday, you fucking bitch. And not on Sunday. Sunday, Monday, at the grave. It was on Saturday. Did you see the one where Asma Gold's working out? <laughs> They're telling him, he's like, I don't want to lift today. He's like, no. You need to lift. <laughs> no. It's really good. God, why are they so good? It's all over but my asshole. Creamy. But I can't keep shitting out my pants. It's all over in my ball sack. <laughs> I like how there's somebody made a uh, a wizard in a video game or in a story that uh it contorts your testicles. Uh, <laughs> and he does like a blam, no oh, more shit. dick, no more dick anymore. And I'm like, this is the most coolest and vile wizard I have ever met in my life. My game is having a stroke up here. Stroke am I, lick am I, suck am I, God. Yo, this motherfucker got a minigun! 
I walked to the side, he immediately gunned my ass down. I'm sure, oh, I've never heard him scream like that. He said, son of a motherfucker. Ah. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that either. Oh. That crit did nothing to him. Why the fuck do we get the stupid clay doll dudes in the fucking portal? Alright, I don't wanna... I'm leaving. Fuck you, Fist. And fuck who you came with. Why'd you have Deathclaw meat on you? What, you think you're fucking cool, you fucking loser? Man, my game's having a super stroke, dude. Couldn't even take a photo. Like, what the fuck? What's a bucket head? It's a bucket for a helmet. No, because Strong said it. Wish a bucket would sh bucket head show up. I'd rip his arms clean off. That was a good void we got put against the fucking clay machine gunners. We had to leave immediately. Oh, this I like is the Lele and its counterparts. I don't like his. I don't like the modified version of it. It's weird. No, actually, I don't. The, uh, I don't understand. I, I don't understand the corrupted version of it. It does the same fucking thing. Does, I mean, well, because it's just lightning on one unit and not all of them. Oh, I thought it. Okay, I thought it was. Never mind. I'm pretty sure, right? Because it looks like it only hits one person. Why are all the enemies spawning away from me? I want to kill things. Oh, I'm first died. <laughs> Wait, no, he didn't. Oh, yeah, he did. Nothing spawning by me is bullshit. It's good for single targets. Um, I shouldn't have picked it up. Because I am an AoE character, but whatever. Why do I keep getting the arm of the backpack? How many times he bounced? Damn. I like Strong, because he's a fucking super mutant. Mm. I guess my dick fucking hard. And he's green! <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. I love how fast, as soon as I die, as soon as I die, I just hit escape and load. It's just such a fast fucking... Why don't you like my Halo gun in fucking Fallout, you fucking meanie? <laughs> I didn't say I didn't like it. It was very out of place. Get my ass clad, bro. As soon as they see me, clack, I'm dead. I have to get power armor. Power armor is for pussies. <laughs> The Super Mutant's doing 32 damage with his fucking pipe gun. Oh my god. Fuck you. And specifically, fuck who you came with. Dog meat. Uh, bro, how am I gonna get? How am I gonna pass this fucking crane? How am I gonna <laughs> run? <laughs> really, how the beavers? This bitch in a verse. Oh, wait, isn't there a drug that keeps me like does less damage? No, that's just more damage. Mincats? I don't know. But no. Uh, morphine. Medics. Yeah, medics. Same thing. Morphine. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Getting the fucking phantom knife or the ceremonial daggers at any point is just stupid. <laughs> and then having friendly fire on and then killing your friend. And you're like, <laughs> oh, I'll be trying to tell you to stop fucking taking it! <laughs> I don't. I remember that, but I can't remember who did it. I mean, I I I don't really like the quick, the quick menu to take, ah. but it's also okay. I'm okay with it too. Why'd you make that noise? You should try and hit the portal as I was going to get this multi shop. That was very sad. 
Yo, Mario is allowed to join back after he DC'd. What the fuck? Holy shit, I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> that might be a mod. Probably. If so, Pog. Thank God. We should also like get the revive mod. No, that's too easy. Are, are the knives not spawning when I kill things? I don't think they are. I think ceremonial dagger is bugged. Well, you have to kill them. I did. Then just nothing happened. I was so confused. Oh, hello, magma worm. I think uh, the ukulele thing also procs on like your on hit effect. So if you have a bleed on somebody, you can just keep constantly procking the fucking lightning bolt. That's actually pretty dope. Yeah, it looks like that's what it does. Well, fuck cliff bars, bro. <laughs> they're, they're gonna kill you. What even is a cliff bar? Not like the, the, like the protein bar or energy bar. Ah. That's a guy like climbing up a fucking rock formation. Uh, the only mountain one that I know is Toblerone. That's just chocolate. Well, like I know this game that George isn't gonna do jack shit. <laughs> he fucking died three times. <laughs> no, well, you can spot on him items, so that'll be alright. Oh, died at the very beginning of those. <laughs> we just spawned in, and he immediately got hit by three of the fucking bronze arms. Every single day. Yes. It's all over. Oh yeah, I keep stuck in the needle asking myself. I forgot it's so heavy. It's gonna fucking take horrible blue like it's better than nothing. Uh yeah. Yeah. No, not my fucking shot glass. The fucking wisp didn't even make the charge up move, he just instantly shot me.
might be really fucking nasty, or this might be really fucking good. <laughs> let's fuck it, fuck it. Oh, we're just, yo, let's fucking fucking, dude. Why do I keep getting the grenade launcher taken away from me every time on my account on multi? It's always gone. <laughs> it knows. Every time I fucking try to use it, it's just gone again. I mean, I kind of just want to play loader. Dog is going back to Red Rocket. What the fuck? They <laughs> get on it. That's what my fucking dad does, bro. He'd be like the dog. And I'm like, bro, you gave it a name. Like, why are you all right? Or he'll be like your uncle. And I'm like, you mean you mean my you mean his name? Like, why don't you just say his fucking well, name? Is it dog meat that's going back, or is it just a regular dog meat? It's dog meat. Dog. Dog is going home. We have all these new characters, and all you want to do is play fucking loader. Yeah. Yeah. Flame thick with your cute ass. Can I not talk to Strong? Strong, I want to talk to you. Why is it only command? Okay. Strong, no talk to you. You strongest, I follow. Bro, I don't understand why my cap on this fucking bottle did not fucking close properly. Because of this fucking, fucking aggression. Because of all this fucking aggression. Who's spilling it, man? Fine, hold on, I gotta do more push ups. I see your portal thing. How do I get strong to like me? You have to be strong. Fuck. That is what he just said. I think you have to just, like, kill a lot of people. Oh god, Mario quickly assassin the assassin. Like whoever designed the sound for this character is absolutely a menace to society. You should tell him to download Phoenix, right? Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, that's why he isn't this, isn't he? And he has the swag suit on too. Oh. He goes, hold it, and then he fucks you. <laughs> 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 oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Give the giggles. There's a class in there. Pre war. <laughs> Think about that a lot. <laughs> An old vertebrate up there, pre-war. 
touch me, my dears. I GG for the very Strong last time. Strong didn't like that I gave drugs to Mama Mercy. And then I have, uh, I have the mod where it's like, but you gave zero fucks. <laughs> <laughs> So mad you told me you fucking took hours, fucking hours of fucking building bullshit and fallout. <laughs> like, I didn't do anything That's all else. I ever did I just, in this game. I kind of just yeah. did that. I'm like, well, why? Because the story was too boring and I was just doing it to do it. It felt very uninspired. <laughs> Touch me. Ah. I am me for the very last time. You actually like that song? No. I like it. Shut up. I don't dislike it. I just don't care. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Living King Sun's voice at the best of times. I, that's, a, that's how it was a lot of his songs, and I, I don't really care for it either, but. Got it going on. Don't let me get in my uh, Don't let me get to my zone. Don't kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling oh, romantic. I'm feeling romantical. I knew you would do that. Touch me, I did. Why do you have to make fun of the song that I like? Make me your desire. Wait, that's that mod's not installed? What the fuck? I shit my pants for the very first time. <laughs> it's V for Vendetta. Or V from Cyberpunk. <laughs> While you have a shield, fire missiles I never hit. It. I think that's pretty strong on motor, I'll be honest. But you never know. Now I just need a fast speed. Yeah, literally everything I do is a fucking... Uh, also, having Midas in this pretty good as loader, get gold for a little bit of health. 
I shield up 24-7. You said you're gonna shoot up? Yeah, come on, drugs. Fuck. God, I wish I was on drugs. Touch me. Might as well shut the fuck up. <laughs> Malice. I'm gonna get lucky as fuck with these. God, I wish I was lucky as fuck. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was that baller. <laughs> I wish I had a girl who looked good, I would call her. Holy shit, shut up. <laughs> You're so cool. TB rolling to the beat. TB sucking on my teeth. Ruined. He be stroking all that shit. He be in jail. Sad boys. My desire. Touch my ball turk. It's such a weird... Oh, Mario disconnected. I fear fear for the very last time. Touch my balls, sir.
Why does everyone else in the Commonwealth like don't lag, but I do? <laughs> like I need to figure out what the fuck's causing it to lag. Why everybody else don't lag? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it just me? You. Why me only? Just I. Fuck you. I'm sweating. Holy shit. You know why? Midas. Uncap the frames. Why are my fucking frames capped? What? Don't cap. Don't cap the frames. Or don't cap. Don't cap the frames. Bing, 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 bing. Everybody. Everybody. And I'm gonna start just adding all of the Bethesda background music in my Burn. fucking video games. And then when something happens, Burn. just fucking the combat music. Fucking like Snippy is just a fucking genius. I can get the uh in credit so song from Call of Duty Vegas when he starts narrating. Should probably get the soundtrack from World Galaxy. Oh my god. No way. I want to find the Enclave power armor. I want it now. I'm feeling romantical. There's a vertebrate up there. Pre war. So happy you came on us. Man, that was a pretty slay. Glad you're on us. If you, if you stay here, I'm going to keep talking about how nice you are. How the fuck? You're a good guy. Shut up. Midas. Did you know that you were now playing Fallout 4? Insane. In the main brain. The main frame. In the main game. Dude, I'm hot as fuck right now. Feel a little bit. Kiss me on my hot mouth. I cannot watch videos as I stream <laughs> to show you how much I don't give a shit. I grabbed the fucking imp as it was trying to run away to like go punch it and it disappeared as I hit it. <laughs> so it didn't take damage.
<laughs> oh. I'm so sick of it. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah. All have a good night. What the? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. I just want to get mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> Why is this mod not working? I beat my meat for the very last time. Does he not wear this fucking equip this? Oh, he does. Okay.
You can crank the fucking laser rifle six times? What the fuck? Yeah. This is what I was telling you the other day. Like, what you the find fuck? the fucking ones that let you crank it forever is ridiculous. Stop saying shit like that. Oh, I'm gonna tell you something disgusting that I did that I don't you want I don't want you to repeat, bro. I put fucking I made eggs. I put like a scoop of protein in it. I'm not gonna do it again. Worse. But it was pretty good. I mean it's pretty bad. That's not as bad. It was I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Arch Melody to stop with her voice. She made she like normal now. Look at that. Why did she holy shit? She just like dropped a shit ton of videos. What the fuck? Who is this? What's well, a good follow up mod that you have? Game feels um... like it's never fucking good enough for me. The, it never will be. Okay. I got locked into 30 knockbacks over and over again. <laughs> oh,
Midas. Make me part of your design. I feel fear for the very last time. That's a lie. He feels it every day of his damn life, and he knows it. No. <laughs> what are you making? I'm making a map, but that looks like a drawing of my eye. <laughs> I know. Is everything oh. I get lost. Oh. <laughs> I just realized in order for me to have the fucking same damage as them, I have to put it on realistic and not very hard. <laughs> Our survival and not very hard. I'm kind of mad about that. School is very hard. I've been playing on very hard this entire time. Can't you change the difficulty in games? What does survival do? The same thing it does in all the fall moons you have to eat and drink. The bare bones survival. Well, you have to sleep. Yeah. I am dead. Bro, I don't want to do. I don't want to fucking turn to the corner and die and then be like, "Well, you, you're fucked." Uh, ready up. Oh, he's not even there. Where the fuck did he go? Did you say school is really hard? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so school sure is very hard. I'm making sure that I didn't say that in my head. <laughs> they were very hard. Playing very hard. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll right, go. Where's my goddamn electric car, Bruce? Uh, does I need for the very first? Also, oh, oh, is there Outcast? Outcast Brotherhood? Mod.
Bro, Outcast, fucking Brotherhood and Mod, dude, all dope. Bro, this looks kind of like shit. I don't want that. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, no, we got into like the uh, that new map where all the fucking flying manta rays spawn, and I was just like, no! and then we insta restarted, and I was like, <laughs> that's pretty good. Fine, I'll cast and remnants, I'll fucking download you. It adds 20 hours to the game. I just want the fucking armor, man. I guess I'll get more XP from it, too. I've been watching uh, housing. And uh, I was like, I like it. And then I was and then I was like, what the fuck's housing ultimate? And it's just a it's just a re a ma it's just a remastered of it. And I was like, oh, this is the one that that I remember. Yeah. And I'm like, I hate it. <laughs> I keep getting um videos of Castlevania now. I'm sorry. I don't know. Whoever Silfa and what's his name is. It was pretty cute. I'm not gonna look at you. Why not? Is it because you'll crack like a little egg? Yes. Touch me. I have no amount of serotonin that will oh, tell feel. me. I feel happiness for the very last time. <laughs> Bro, these amino acids suck ass. Like watching the original and then watching the ultimate, dude, it's so much more like stupid. <laughs> I, I, and then I got to read the manga too, and I'm like, "Fuck, this is gonna kill me." Uh, thanks for the med kit. Um, this uh Burger King. You still having oh. random items? What? You doing random items? No, nah, it's just chess with regular items. The regular items? Yeah, well, just like they are, or, well, they are random, yes. These are. I don't know why when you said random items, my fucking first thought was pick items. I was like, no.
Is there a mod that I should get? Um, for Fallout or for Fallout for you? No. Um, Did the Fallout Three thing come out? Um, yes. You can go to Fallout Three and Fallout Four. You know what's called? No. Probably Fallout Three. Yeah, I'm looking. If not, then I don't. Know. They got the replacers. Fallout 3 XP sounds for the Fallout 4. Whoa. This fucking blue item at the beginning of the game is broken. Fucking blue eye, right? Right? What? Which one? The blue item uh, that like gives you like increased thing. Every thirty seconds, grants a buff that marks the next spawning enemy. If you defeat them within thirty seconds, they drop an item. Okay, Their item man. rarity scales like the stacks. I just got like a red item immediately because <laughs> I killed one of them. Are you talking about the one where like it buffs all the enemies to have like modifiers right off the bat, but you get that uh. The cleansed item right off the bat. Mm -hmm. No. I don't like the way she put that.
harassment. <laughs> Shut up. I am a victim of harassment. This whole anime is just saying words differently, and I'm like, fuck! Oh fuck, it's three feeling lemurs. Tell me a mod, I need a good one. Oh. And I want you and I need you. Oh. You're gonna ignore me like I didn't just talk to you, you fucking bitch. I told you I don't have it. <laughs> I have you now! I have over 500 confirmed kills. Damn. As the accountant? As the accountant. Insane. Touch me, Midas. Get your dick away from my face. No, I feel fair for the rain last time. I'm with the cabal. Cabal. Witness shader. Mm. Say witness shader. Mm hmm. Okay, I thought you said whiteness. I was like, what does it mean? That was the funny thing because the guy was pulling. Did I tell you about that? The guy was doing the OK sign and he was like, what, you, what does this mean? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It means what power may come to you requires great responsibility. My favorite was just like the supervisor looked up and he's like, oh, I had to make sure because I was about to go off. But I was like, you know, it's funny because I'm Mexican, and Puerto Rican and you're white. So it'd be even funnier that you're trying to explain it to me. That's called mansplaining. 
It's not. Shut your fucking mouth. You supremacist fuck. You can't stop me. I'll fuck you. It's like, this is so stupid. <laughs> what? No, the blue item is ridiculous. I have like 20 items, and it's only been like 10 minutes. I haven't even opened any chests. It's like a fucking idiot. Well, see, like, if I'm going to buff the Minuteman, I got to buff every other faction. Run! Give me this damn item. What is even the backup mag do for my secondary skill? My secondary skill requires me to have bullets loaded for my primary skill. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It just loads all of Touch me, my It's your birthday. Come on out with some fun. Have some fun. It's uh, your shut birthday. Up. <laughs> Happy birthday, Stanley. <laughs> oh.
Yeah, the five legendary items. Leon! They should put Leon in Risk It Rain, too. He's the commander. Leon would never do wheel pistols. <clears throat> but he has before. <clears throat> in what? In the movies. He's done it in six as well. Oh, shit. I don't remember that. <laughs> you aim and you press Y and he takes out two of them. Holy fuck. That game is too much of a blur for me. Somebody posted <laughs> on the fucking Resident Evil subreddit the fucking scene where you drive a bike with um with Sherry. <laughs> yeah. And he just got it bugged the fuck out and you were just like flying around, like hitting the walls, just spinning in circles. That's great. Like, this game is great. <laughs> It's like the butterfly in the uh, opener for uh, Bethesda's uh, Fallout. I mean Skyrim. I'm not the yeah, the reason why the cart like freaks the fuck out is because of the oh. butterfly. Or no, it's a bee. It's a bee. <laughs> so fucking dumb. The assets are too strong. I'm gonna come. Do not come. This item is broken. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's your birthday. About the, these waifus burst. Burst. Like you said, you were about to, like, one night. Back in the... In the... Sexy Hancock, that motherfucker's sexy already. What the fuck you talking about? Smooth skin. Take off your clothes. <laughs> I'm not having sex with you, smooth skin. It's all over, but the crop. It's over. He's right. It was over. I'll trade you a matching paint stand hat. Huh? That's not a cola, though. A massive titties. Enough for you to stand on. You say massive titties, enough for you to stand on? Mm hmm. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. But nobody's crying for me. It's all over. There we go. Critical hits outside of ads. Thank you. Give me that shit. Finally. Bingo, bango, bongo. I'm so happy in the jungle. I refuse. He refuses to go. To go.
<laughs> like, why? Bro, oh, that was the fucking... I was trying to figure out what, like... I was like, what does SSG stand for? SSG Samsung Galaxy. And then GGS. I was like, oh, that's when I was writing down the fucking... Um, the items for Resident Evil 4 Remastered. I mean, the... Remake. Oh, the back of magazines just lets me have more shots in that. Okay. You evil bitch! How dare you do this to me? What a, I gotta I gotta steal that line, dude. It's such a good line. You, you evil bitch! <laughs> How dare you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you imagine? She's like, I'm fucking. She's just like, I'm getting my dick sucked. There was just jerking me off, bro. I'm about the nut. She just stopped. And like, you <laughs> evil bitch! How could you do this to me? How dare you do this to me?
You have such a dirty mouth, big sister. <laughs> How dare you? You stupid bitch. How dare you? It just makes me think of Breaking Bad. Oh, he's got a striker! What the fuck? I don't know if you remember at the end of Breaking Bad when he's like trying to make sure the police don't put Skyler. Uh... Have you also been getting those clips? <laughs> well, yes, but I don't remember if you remember where he like tries to call her, but he knows something's up, and he's like trying to make it seem like it was all his idea, and then he just ends the call like, "Why do you never listen to me, you stupid?" Bitch. <laughs> I, mean, I watched the explanation in the comments because I thought I was like, whoa, dude. I didn't know. Three big balls. Look like we playing tennis. Can you mute the audio from just the bot? <laughs> Wait, the song's not gonna play anymore. Never mind. YouTube and their stupid censorship. I'm gonna play the song anyway. I'm gonna marry her anyway. Murder that girl. No matter what you say, I'm gonna murder that girl. You can't stop me anyways. Well, I have got to tell you what to do. Can't get over the minions throwing straight hands as soon as they enter the lane, dude. <laughs> like really pedally angry with like any kind of fantasy story that like switches to somebody else's perspective <laughs> like getting so mad for no reason <laughs> i mean i feel you i was having a like, discussion <laughs> yesterday about isekais with the other guy and i got to the same uh, point i was like yeah i was like define an isekai and he was like well it's just another world that's what it means and i'm like all right but like does did, like did they bring anything to the table when they went into the new world yes and no and I'm like, all right, give me like three. And he's like, it gave me two. And I was like, all right, you see where like my point where you could take away their past life and there would be no reason to be for them to even exist. Oh my God. Trying a discussion with me about like oh her brother it was his brothers you blah, blah blah like fucking and they were roommates they were fucking roommates please don't run away. I like I like to believe he's talking about my urethra <laughs> <laughs> I've had a narrow urethra I have an oversized urethra.
affidavit done with you. That pussy when I'm not looking at you, so baby, I don't really know what I'm not gonna tell my now. Oh baby, oh my god, oh my god. What are you afraid of? It's just TikTok by Juji. <laughs> Oh, one of my, uh, one of my friends, one of my, uh, co-workers, my other, my old co-worker fucking sent me a fucking video on TikTok, and I couldn't watch it. I just saw TikTok, and I'm like, moving on. It's just a video of Joji's face, <laughs> just like really, like, creepy looking, and it's just like, what are you afraid of? It's just TikTok by Joji. It's, it's not, cr I saw that today, alright? They gotta stop recommending us bullshit. There's nothing creepy it about it. It for me. I was just watching it on Discord. On Discord? Yeah, it, I saw it like a week ago. Bro, I saw it today, and it was that's, his, uh, that's the cover. Wait, was it was it different? Not that I know of. I got pushed into the wall and couldn't move. What the fuck was this? <laughs> I like dropped down and accidentally fell on like four enemies and I just got pushed into the wall and died instantly. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, the reason why, like, because there's a TF2 thing that happened to it, it's that one, but I'm trying to find the one that you're talking about. It's literally just his face. Yeah, it's just his face. It's not the creep. That's the album. Yeah, which is why it's... <laughs> Easy, Pete, I'm going into your strongest... <laughs> I need your strongest excuse. To fuck around is human. To find out is divine. <laughs> old I do like that memes going around to fuck around and find out. Who won the around, lottery? The he out. I did. Oh, Who that won one too. The lottery? That was pretty good too. I like the one. Oh, did you show me that one? Where it's like you had to choose these four to have you to help you in battle. The other ones you have to kill. <laughs> it's it's just them. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That is how it be. This one's for all my baby girls. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. <laughs> I love the way he says it. I'm lurking and I'm stalking. <laughs> I have to find it. It's so far back now in these. I will stop being so polite. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. See more butts. Uh. Every otaku who says that if he went to another world, he'd have everything immediately beat up for being a perv. Kill him! You talking about the video set? Yeah. God, I want to be as buff as these guys, dude. Dude, specifically, specifically the soldier at three seconds. Oh. oh, I found it. Oh, the three second one, man. Yeah, it's that one. That's the one I saw. I, what's wrong? See, I like it. It's just him. It's, that's, the, that's what he had. No, no, I've never heard the actual song, so I don't know if it's any different. It's a, yeah, it's a default song.
Well, this man yesterday that I was playing Rust with, that I'm gonna have to skim out on the mornings because I can't play on my computer. Well, when I, or I can't play Rust on my computer as well. And oh, sorry. I, I I played I play on nighttime when Ryan's off and fucking I told him, oh hey, by the way, I built a base next to you guys. Uh, if you want to use anything, it's the same code or whatever. And he was like, I thought you said you weren't playing anymore, and then you play by yourself, kind of sus. And I was like, I said the mornings, you fuck. I need better armor. No, your music on stream is copyright. I'm telling you, Twitch. The dude like wrapping the cat in the fucking like blanket is like the best yeah. fucking video ever. Dick, uh, I'm gonna make your dick suck. Turn her around. <laughs> That ass, bro. Like, would some bitch ever said some shit like that? Like, I'm driving a car and I'm like, oh, look at that cat. And she's like, I hate cats, bro. I'm taking the cat with me. Straight up. Get the, the only the reason I use VR is for the porn. That is the most accurate thing you've ever said in your life. I don't even have VR. But if yeah, I did. Because you live in reality. No, I don't. I live in horror reality. I live in fatality. I am Scorpion. Collateral! You're a fucking cunt. You're a fucking cunt, you know that? Talk. I'm gonna make my dick stuck. Help me. God, I wish I was a super mutant, but I had genitals. Uh. <laughs> I just get like super specific about it, but like totally <laughs> t 
takes away the whole point. <laughs> you're just like, you're just, man, I wish I was going, a dog, yeah. except I had like human hands. <laughs> and I had like, yeah, yeah and I could yeah, fucking, and I, and I could speak. talk, and like, I could sit down on the toilet. Yeah, just everything else, but <laughs> be a dog. You know, you know what I mean? Like, should be so cool. Jeb, 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 Jeb. You can scrap your wedding ring? What the fuck? Yeah. And put my dick in the ocean. Put my dick in the ocean. I wish there was a fucking uh, merchant that sold everything. Um, Why is there no you... gun runners? <laughs> because they hate you. For some reason. And this, this one, game? they just kill you. Yeah. Oh, they are in this game, huh? Yeah, they just fucking attack everybody on site. It's like, what the hell? What are you guys here for? And then you're like, TikTok, I'm gonna make your dick talk. <laughs> I'm gonna make your dick rock. Let the dick rock. Let the dick rock. What the fuck was that? That was the defendant. Something just like flew and then and then like crashed. It scared the shit out of me. Was it the fat man from that one YouTube video or is like I screamed for 20 seconds straight? <laughs> I wish. I'm always my dick top. I'm a dick top. Put my dick in the ocean. I'm just a normal boy. My dick fell in the ocean, boy. It's a guy on a. Uh... On the YouTube stories that has a huge taking making uh songs turn gay and it's really good.
Dude, how high is your charisma got to be to get the fucking red? Well, remember, this game operates under a percentage, so you can just keep resetting the save and not care about that. It runs under percentage? Yeah. Why doesn't it show you? Well, because, like, the color indicates how high a percentage you have. But it should show you, like, in Fallout 3. Oh, they don't give a shit. All right, I think the three times damage is a little bit broken. I'm probably going to have to take it off. Uh. I do, I am confused why that dog had over 200 HP, though. I'm gonna need more enemies on the map if there's if this is gonna be how easy it's gonna be to kill them. Mm Why is the fucking raider gang so fucking far away? God damn it. Pieces of shit. I like how three fucking scorpions showed up to my fucking funeral. <laughs> oh, I got fucking clapped, dude.
They should make a game mode in a uh, Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, Wesker must die and Hunk must die. You gotta play the whole campaign, but they're just, they're all like special unit enemies that come after you. Well, fuck you, I think it's a good idea, you piece of <laughs> shit. I'm trying not to die to magma worms. That's what you always fucking say, you never listen to me. It's always magma worm you this, man. You always do this. You can get mad, you just don't fucking drop a table over my head. What the fuck is this? I saved you, and then you yell at me and say, make a move, and I'll end you, Wastelander. What's that all about? Oh, is this the Doom Gun play? Oh, no, it's the fucking... It's more of the fucking... Go adapt this mechanic, not adapt 440k. Got me a Dove Course Bolter. All right, the bolters are a little are, are extremely busted, especially with the three times damage. I don't know the death corpse had fucking bolters.
God, I want to make a fucking grilled cheese right now. Make the grilled cheese. I don't got bread. Make some. Let me play as the fucking payday uh, cloakers in your screen. That'd be pretty dope. You just run at things and you go. Beep! Just insta kill them with fucking kicks. Do fucking flips. Blow that bitch up, Pablo. Damn, a minute long ad. Think <laughs> what needs to be done for this. So you're wasting all your time when you're crying. She died of cancer. Also, you know who did it. Plus 15 tons of TNT. <laughs> you pull that bitch up, Pablo. Pablo, no.
<laughs> Our friend is clearly upset. Did I find a secret that I'm not supposed to find? I, I opened up like a, I was looking in a room and I found a button and the buttons like elevator don't work. So I opened up the book, the book, uh, fucking bookcase and it's like it opens it, but the elevator still don't work. That happened to me. So I guess it's for like a main quest or something. <laughs> me personally. <laughs> you all let her die? <laughs> you could be spinning bad. <laughs> you want to know an enemy that I never liked in Minecraft? Cave spiders suck my dick. The little ones? Yeah, the little ones that fucking likes poison them. you. <laughs> I don't think anybody likes them. I barely like the fucking big ones. I like the big ones. They get stuck in the doorway. Especially before you were able to sprint. Those yeah. motherfuckers were menaces, dude! They were faster than you. So you had to fight them. Menacingly. I'm gonna make my dick stop. Oh. Stop sampling old songs. I keep getting like the month broken early game items, like this fucking Midas thing, like, like the um statue that takes health from you but gives you money. Yeah, that's what the Midas. The equipment does the same thing essentially. Oh yeah, this I gotta I gotta I gotta mod the fucking thing out. I'm like one shotting enemies now. Good. And they're not one shotting me anymore and I'm confused.
Bro, we need to just play fucking Minecraft, bro. Or fuck you, I'll play Minecraft on myself, you fucking cunt. Like regular Minecraft? Because every time I try to do modern Minecraft, it never works out. We'll do... Well, because we can just do it from the Twitch thing, but hold on. Let me think about it. I'll be back. Take a piss. I'll probably get some more food in here. Heat up the meat. Probably make some more eggs.
Walk out of the way. I won't cut some scrambled egg. Can you go fuck yourself? How about that?
Get the fucking butter back out, baby. I wanna be forever If you really want to live, so let's go.
What the hell were you talking about the eggs? I don't know. What what what, what did I say? You got like really like angry. You were like going, "Why the fuck are you here for just the eggs?" Oh, cause uh, in the fucking, cause uh, in for breakfast in the mornings, uh, some people will, so you know, there's like it, for for breakfast, there's always the pancakes, there's always boiled eggs, there's always syrup. There's either a, a turkey patty, or like a turkey bacon, or like whatever, like a vegetarian version of a meat, like sausage yeah. or that, or and then there's like bacon sometimes. So it's like it's a it, it twin for that, and then sometimes there's like it's either like skirt steak, um, potatoes, um, something. There's another thing, and then right next to next to that. Oh, and then there's scrambled egg, like it's scrambled eggs, and then scrambled eggs with like sauce in it, like like onions and tomatoes and shit. And uh, on the other side of it, like right towards the end, before you about to get out, there's custom made eggs that people well, will make. So they can they'll like scramble it, put it on the put it on the fucking hot bar that they're doing, um, and they can you can ask for like bacon or or uh, tomatoes or that. But sometimes they don't have it, so some people will go ahead and just get those. But those people hold up the line sometimes, and usually there's only one person in the morning running the uh, thing, and I'd be getting mad because I'll point, I'll say what I want, and I'll also point at it, and then they'll just look at me like, what did you, what did you want? And I'm like, all right, do you want me to yell like this early in the morning at you over the fucking counter, or do you yeah. want to look at both of the things that I'm doing for you to realize what I want? It's just a lot. This looks like cancer. What? So he does what a guy called his. I'm dead.
Why did you? Did you think I just got like PTSD and I just started <laughs> fucking going I just, off? I was just like, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> No, I just like the idea of you yelling that, and then I come, you come back, I tell you about it, and you're like, "What the fuck? I was yelling!" <laughs> you're like, "Holy shit!" I'm blinking out. Bro, that's how I want to go out, fucking throwing up blood. I'm talking about the people who have the stomach issue, they just all of a sudden start violently throwing up blood. Not violently, just like a cough it, or like I'll be, <laughs> be like, Shh, and that's it. Just like a, like a, just a mild case of it. Be like fucking shot in the stomach, but don't feel any pain. You're just like, huh. <clears throat> Alright, I alone. No one will ever know. Oh yeah? You and what are you? What are you? The undead. Yeah? You and what are you? Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot to buy boots. That fucking sucks. How are you gonna get fucking any movements? I don't wanna buy those boots again. I mean, I don't wear those fucking boots I got. I forgot to buy new ones. And I have to get my fucking white scene. All the things I do for the fucking things that I want. The things I do for the military. What? No, I said the things I do for the military.
This looks like cancer. Fucking juicy. <laughs> I was talking about the pride flag because of uh once June second hit everything like every like June first everything we went pride and the dude was like I don't got I don't have an opinion and I was like yeah that's right. You don't. <laughs> I don't know why I was such an asshole about it, but I was like, yeah, you can't say shit. You know your place. Because I was like, I don't know what you are or your stance is, but if you're going to take this line down, you don't have my respect. Because that means he's either on the other side of just, like, being straight and not really caring about it. Or he actually just doesn't have an opinion. I just thought it funny that he was like, I'm not going to engage in the conversation. Hell no, to the no, no, no. You know what how I want to feel when they did surgery on me and I woke up? I want I want to go back to that time that timeline. Cause dude, I was like I was woozy as fuck. I was like this. I was looking around, my head was fucking out of it. I was like And like I was slowly building up. I was like, yo, I'm gonna throw up. I was like, ma'am, miss, hello? It's like I'm gonna throw up. Can I get something? And they were like, me, 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 me. I was like, Yo, I'm going to throw up. Give me something. I was like, I still didn't respond. It and I'm like, Yo, I'm not playing games. <laughs> then he woke up. He was like, What the fuck? <laughs> no one's here. Cause they kind of gave me an attitude. I'm like, Yo, did you not hear me? You want to make? You want me to make a mess on these sheets, bro? And then I'm gonna have to take a shower and I'm gonna fucking die because this shit hurts.
or like uh breathing in the gas that shit that shit was crazy dude i was breathe like down in. yeah they're like breathing three times and i was like he's like one two and then, and then and then i was gone dude <laughs> The shit was hurting though. Like after the second breath, I like I could it, like it felt like it was going up my fucking entire like body, and I was like, <gasps> and then I just knocked out. What? I said, all right, it's time for me to go.